We're live again. It's a Friday. Some random Friday. Yeah, I don't even know. You love how I jumpstart you, right? Well, yeah, but it was such a calm jumpstart. That's what got me. <laughs> I am in a calm mood. You can tell my voice is tired. I, mm. was, I was pretty intense in the gym. I was like, Ugh. And I uh, was, was cleaning out the garage today and doing some stuff. I'm felt good. Pepper. It felt good. I, I kind of uh, crashed myself with my diet, got too intense on accident. <laughs> and, and my calories got way too low and I crashed and, and I was having problems recovering from it. So I kind of really took it easy because I'm trying to do this thing now where I'm less is more. Anyways, just got tired of basically my connective tissue and my body feeling like it was just constantly on the verge of disintegrating. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And, so, and so I'm pulling stuff back a little bit. Anyways, anyways, anyways. This question is to try to piggyback off of last week, which has left a lot of open-ended ideas and I had to cut that short because my goodness, there was a lot there and I had a feeling that we could just keep talking. It was so, thick. <laughs> so we'll revisit that video sometime and maybe do a part two, but let's keep this, this, this train of thought I had going. And that was, do you feel, do you feel emotional connection to your art now the no-brainer straightforward cliche what you would expect answer is yes but i think it depends on how you look at it so in what way do you have an emotional connection would probably be the better question to ask in this because it's like okay yeah the no-brainer is you have an emotional connection but do you have the emotional connection to your art as far as this is my baby my creation or do you have an emotional connection with it because it's like this allowed me to express this so i'm connected to it in that regard does that make sense yeah how wh where does your mind go with that how do you feel do you feel emotionally connected to what you create or is this going to be like every other thing that we talk about and we're going to say case by case <laughs> I think it's case by no, I'm just <laughs> but kind of. I, I think it is though. Well, because okay, so I, think I don't think there's anything about wrong it. about that. Right, I think we talked about it a little bit before when I told that story about um, one of my old mentors that had worked on something really hard, and then like the guy literally destroyed Snatched it, and he was like, you know, what are you gonna do? Don't make anything your baby, kind of thing. And so, I, like, I get that, but at the same time, you are art and creation is, is a cathartic experience where you're taking ideas, emotions, inspirations from you and you're putting it out there. And most of the time you're putting it out there for other people to see and other people can be pretty aggressive towards things that they aren't tied to. They can, didn't come from them. So. <laughs> but is that, is, that the, is that the average consumer or is that a peer? Because we talked about that a little bit before too. You know what I'm saying? Because you're talking yeah. about the, the harsh critic right now. Well, commonly, I, I wanted to put a pause there because I yeah. felt like this might be important. Commonly, and from my perspective, that's a peer. When you've got, uh, for lack of a better term, the fan or the, the concert goer, right? From my perspective, music. Just the average person that's not really tied to the instruments at all, the art, they just like the entertainment, tend to be like a little more forgiving in my experience. Yeah, but also they can be just as flippant too because it's not like they're gonna they're gonna rip into it. They're just gonna be like, I don't like it, and then move on. And you go that that almost hurts worse. You know what I mean? With no input. Yeah, it's like as somebody came up to me, I don't like it because of this, this, that, whatever. And you're just like, okay, like tough but fair. But if somebody you're like, you know, look at this, and then somebody's like, yeah, I'm just stupid. And you're just like, okay, but why? I'm like I don't know, I just don't like it. It's like okay. I don't know, that, that, that's like, there, there's a story of a guy and he was like, I cut some guy off in traffic the other day and he didn't flip me off. He gave me the thumbs down and he goes, and somehow that hurt worse. Yeah. I was like, that's basically, that's like, if someone, just, if someone was just like, yeah, I don't like it. And they didn't offer any input or told me specifically why it would just make me feel like in total. Because if someone was specific, I'd be like, oh, I just failed here, here, and here. Whereas like, if someone's just like, yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. Learn more about you. No, I just I find that interesting because the other person I, I I just feel like a lot of times when the artist is critiquing it, they they're critiquing it like making your art. I'm not not always okay, but a lot of times. <laughs> okay. A lot of times I feel this that they they are trying to make your art their art. No, I know what you mean. But it's like, well, yeah, I didn't do that because that's not what this. That's what you do. That's not yeah, what I did. Well, also, it's just not what this needed. Right. 
Anyways, so I, I've got us in a side tangent there because basically what that came from was you saying don't get emotionally connected to it being your baby. And that's what right. your mentor was trying to get out of you. But it's, So you yeah. don't have that emotional connection to your art because you've been advised not to. So you've canceled one of the paths. Well, technically. Because I don't get emotionally attached in it and that when I see it destroyed, I feel destroyed myself. Okay because that's the detachment from it that I have. Okay. So my art isn't, I'm not emotionally invested in it to the point where if, if I have to literally whitewash an entire canvas and start from scratch, that I'm like, it obviously is like, oh, cause you gotta do it again, you know? But I'm not like emotionally like, feel like I've failed so much. And there is like a little bit of that that's in your head naturally that you learn to fight because that's just, natural human emotion when you have to restart something you're like well i failed but um it's it's the idea that you know if it if it is emotionally if you're emotionally attached to it that you know that when it needs to be torn down and rebuilt huh see i'm very like introspective or like uh thought like i'm in my thoughts right now on this and you're very expressive and I, and I like how this is a little bit of a different change of pace because you are stimulating me but the problem is that we're also recording so I don't have time <laughs> to just sit here and blankly stare I am really hyper room. too so my brain is going very fast and my I don't really have the filter between my brain and my mouth so it's just all coming out no well you're bringing up really good points and so uh, I don't think you need to apologize for that well I did well <laughs> sometimes we, we do unsavory things <laughs> unsavory things um, okay, so I get what you mean in, in that sense. I think from my perspective, I, again, like I said last week, I have a thing where I don't really feel too much emotion from what I do, and, and maybe I should, but the way that I feel the emotion in, in a riff, occasionally I'll write a section of a song to where this, 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 I don't know how else to say it, it sounds really weird, but like this pulse of emotion will pop out of a very aggressive song and it creates this certain vibe to you. I like to have, um, I like to create the sensation of reverence for lack of a better term. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. It's not like Respect. a, it's not, yeah, I guess, but it's not like, <laughs> it's not like a sad thing. It's not like a happy thing. I like to try to create an emotion with, with an emotional part of a metal song. Mm -hmm. Still big chords, it's just the notes that I choose. I like to give it this sense of um, just depth. I don't know what else to say, like that feeling you get when you're standing on the edge of a big cliff and you see the vast openness in front of you, right? Do you know what that emotion is called actually? I don't. Sublimity, so it's like sublime. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> That's how I like to try to, to inject I really want to show you a lot of Romanticism era paintings now in real life because those that's what inspired them to make their paintings and I feel like you would really like them. I'm that's a that. side note. No. That we'll, was for our friendship. <laughs> friendship validity. Uh, flawless victory. But um hide from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but um Yeah, so anyways, that's how I in in like I don't try to like harden myself to this but I don't really care if anyone tears that down. That, to me, that part of a song, I get connected to parts maybe, is what I'm trying to say, not so much a song or an album, but I get connected to a part. And there's this very specific part, like the bridge to one of our songs called Surfacing. It's the second song off of the album that we released in 2015, which is now six years old, which is crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Um, that album, that second track, there's that bridge in that song, and I know that feeling that I was going for there. And then you could shred that thing to pieces, and I still wouldn't care. I might even agree with you, but because that was generated to have this feeling to it, I, I just, you can't convince me otherwise that that's at least what you're gonna feel when you hear that part. It could be mixed better. Maybe the guitar could be a little more interesting. I get it. I get it. I get it. But just the approach, everything around how this went down, I just feel like, yeah, that's how I get emotionally connected to my stuff. But it's so much about me, right specifically there, live leading into that riff, like just all of this stuff that goes into it, that's how I get emotionally connected to what I do. And it's there for me and not for you or anyone else, that moment right there. But 
for the most part, I'm just trying to craft something that's uh, intellectually stimulating first. And then, you know, again, the detriment in a lot of circumstances, the emotional component is second. But, um, so to put a cap on this, do you do, what do you, how do you feel? Do you get attached to the piece at all? Have you, have you ever been attached to a piece at all? Not necessarily making it your baby, but just when you look at it, do you have that similar thing that I described? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it kind of stinks because I'm in the professional realm a lot too. So most of the stuff that I create, I have to let other people be the driving factor in. So it's kind of like it, you become almost like callous towards your creativity. And it's not good because it's like somebody else is going to tell me what to do and what's going to look good. And I just got to listen to them because they're paying me. But whenever I make my own stuff, um, I just kind of like throw it out there and whenever, whenever it starts, uh, whenever it starts like taking life and actually feeling like I'm accomplishing what I want, then that gives me that swell of like, I feel connected to it um, and stuff. But earlier on is when my emotion, if I, someone was like, oh, that doesn't look good. Or, oh, oh, that looks like this. That looks like you did this. Oh, you could have done this. That's when I would have been like, oh, and I would have just like hit it and never showed anybody or like ripped it up and thrown it away or something. Um, whereas like now I know that when I do create something, I have the confidence to be like, to listen to a person's critique and understand whether it's coming from a place of, of benefiting the idea that I'm going for or just being unhelpful. So like what you were saying was like, you can tell me that, you know, it could have been mixed better. It could have been, you could, you can tell me that, um, I could have put more depth in it. I could have worked my color palette a little differently or something like that. But I, you know, if I know that I've achieved something that I was trying to do, then I, I'm confident in that now. So like there's a there's an element of it where it is emotionally attached to me, but there's also an element of the fact that I'm willing to be like, cause art is vulnerable, you know, like creations of something, you, you are a little vulnerable when you show it to people. So you, if you don't have the ability to say, yeah, this is kind of tied to me emotionally, but at the same time, if you hack pieces off of it, it's not so it's not going to damage me because it was an extension of me rather than me. I like that, man. These th these conversations are are feeling great. Another cool thing here as we tie a bow around this. When I when I do that, when I just say, OK, boom, it's the end. I know it's kind of abrupt, but that's because I want to prevent us from rambling. Yeah, we're just fixing to happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I really enjoy this. It's thought provoking. I've got a ton of more ideas for Chatcast based off of just these last two. So thanks again for that. And we're gonna wrap this up. You know how it works, man. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, and then Friday is this day. And this is a Chatcast. And until the next Friday, peace. <laughs>